Why should businesses unrelated to lacrosse pay attention to the sport? The game is growing exponentially, and there's no denying it. Um, not only is it is it growing like wildfire at the youth levels, but you see programs popping up in junior high and high school programs, you know, throughout the country in places that a few years ago didn't even know what lacrosse was. Also, uh, there are two established professional leagues, the NLL and the MLL. The NLL is the indoor league, and it's been around for 20 to 25 years. Um, and the outdoor league, MLL, it just finished up its 10th consecutive season. So both successful um, leagues for the game of lacrosse. And the game itself is 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 addicting. The sport is, is catching the attention of men and women and, and boys and girls across, across the country. And... You know, it's not just a sport, it's become a lifestyle. What are your thoughts on your role during the most recent Nike commercial? Well, first off, to be a part of Nike is just awesome. It's, it's a really rewarding thing for me, and, and to now be in commercials for them, and the biggest sporting company in the world, it's really exciting. And so far, I've been in two Nike commercials, the Boom Ads and the Nike Cold Camp commercials for Sports Authority, which recently aired uh, this past week on Black Friday. Um, the experience from making them, all the way through to their debut on television and on the internet. It's just been an awesome experience. And more importantly for the sport, I think it's been really exciting as well. And for Nike to be so supportive of lacrosse and seriously investing in the game shows how far the game has come and, and where the game will be going. What three things must one do to maintain a professional lacrosse career? To me, the first thing that pops in mind is finding a way to make a comfortable living. Um, it's no secret that there isn't tons of money in actually playing indoor and or outdoor lacrosse. So most players need an alternate source of income. Second, your your life outside lacrosse has to be able to mesh with your life in lacrosse. If, if you have another job, which most guys who play do, your schedule has to be fairly flexible. Um, you can't leave If you can't leave work early on a Friday to catch a flight um, and you have to work on weekends, you know, it makes it real tough to maintain a professional lacrosse career. Uh, and you have to weigh your options and, and figure out which is more important. And on top of that, to many, it's it's not a full-time job, so therefore a lot of people finish a week of work and then have to travel away and pass up time with friends and family, etc. Um, so you need friends and family who are supportive. Uh, and if not, it, it can be tough to carry on playing for long. And last, uh, in order to maintain a professional lacrosse career, you have to have a desire and passion to play and compete. Um, without that desire and passion to, to get after it each week and, and play lacrosse, just like anything else you do without passion or desire. You know, the weekly events, the planes, the trains, the hotels, the games, it becomes more of a grind and more of a chore than a privilege and opportunity. Um, and at that point, you know, playing to some people just isn't worth it. How do you prefer to interact with both businesses and fans via social media? I'm guilty of not consistently being an active tweeter. Uh, there are some days where I will tweet several times a day and other times where I won't tweet for a week or so. And sometimes I forget and sometimes I, I just feel like you know, people may be uninterested in what I'm doing or what I have to say. Um, but with that being said, I am trying to utilize it a bit more uh, because, again, I understand the importance. So, I guess, with that being said, follow me, MaxSeabald42 on Twitter. Um, now having confessed my uh, social media ineptness, I will say that I am very receptive to Facebook messages. Um, Facebook I am most of the time and just plain old email. Um, and I try to get back to fans and businesses ASAP with email or messages back on Facebook and, and I prefer to interact that way.